two 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 Two, two. Mm. It's funny, I heard it before. That's on YouTube. No, it's not. Because it's on test. No, it's it not on test. No, it's on both. No, it's oh, on the one. Yeah, it's on the one. Yeah, yeah. It's on test. That's what it's supposed to be. There it is. Okay, so we're actually it's in that part. Yeah. And so this is the line. Two, 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 two.
Zachary Morzoff. Key tags, please. There he is. Carl Dubois, are you nearby? I'm going to crank it up, Jim, all right? Two, two, two. Righty-o. Welcome to round number three of the Hubby Kayak Brim Fishing Series number 11. We're here at fantastic Connells Point Sailing Club, Donnelly Park, um, for this Cranka Lures round. Cranka are the naming right lures for this uh, week in. People are flashing a few lights at me. Um, we had a couple people weigh in first. One was Chris Purnell, who weighed in at 1.43, three for 1.43, and Carl Dubois. Chris is going to help out on scoring. And um, Carl will be on the bump top measuring to make sure that those fish are all 26 to the tip, which is New South Wales. These events are not possible to a whole bunch of people. You've heard me say it's before, and um, we'll try to take and uh, run through these now. So, uh, Daiwa, Power Pole, Lawrence, Atomic, Gerber, TT Lures, Lure Fans, Strike Pro, Mortgage Corp. We got live there, Jim, or no? 
Hubby Polarized Sunglasses, Pro Lure, JML, and uh, this particular weekend is the uh, local dealer support is uh, the Life Aquatic, uh, and they're in Mona Vale, and they're supporting dealers. So many, many thanks, all. And also a big support from all you guys who do the miles to get here and to um, support the event. Um, this weekend we have 65 anglers. This was a, our very first capped event, trying to keep in lines with the council regulations. Uh, and we're very fortunate the council gave us a lot more area to park in, and that went very, very smooth. And I'm quite confident that it'll be an uncapped event for next year, and we'll be up in that 80 to 100 range. This is a bit of a recap on last year. Uh, Chris Purnell won last year here, South Coast, New South Wales, and he had a, an amazing bag, six fish for 5.05 kilos. Uh, Adam Costa, local here, New South Wales, six fish for 4.13, and Chris Hickson from New South Wales also was six fish for 4.08. Those guys just topped out uh, Kane Terry, who was just under the four kilo range. Um, last year we had uh, 135 fish weighed on day one. We'll find out what happens today. And a total of 292 fish yesterday. Um, surprisingly, the average weight was 530 gram, which is approximately 20% larger than any of the average fish caught in all rounds across Australia last 10 seasons. We've got anglers, obviously, from New South Wales, ACT, South Australia, and the boys from South Australia also made it across, a few of them. We have uh, three first-timers, and what that means if you've never fished our events and you have a kayak of any description, as long as you have a live well that meets our requirements, you can come fish these tournaments free of charge. And uh, we've had good success with that. There's no entry fee, and I think once you've done it, it uh, You'll find out how fun it actually is. It's, we have a lot of fun here. This is a catch and release tournament. The fish are caught, kept into a live well. They're weighed in, and we release the fish back out to a pontoon. The fish live to swim in uh, another day. Now, the key tag board was in. We've rolled that up. All the anglers had to be back by 1.30 today. I think we only had two people that were late. Um, we had a gate start, so we had a the power pole starting line out there, they started just before 7 a.m. this morning and got away in some pretty horrible conditions. Uh, a lot of rain. We had to make some pretty big decisions last night and early this morning. Um, there were gale force winning warnings for most of the day, but due to the geographical region here, um, all we end up doing is reducing the footprint of the event. Normally we'd finish at 2 o'clock. We did it at 1.30 and that meant those people who were going to fish out in Botany Bay, they had to make their way back at least to the bridges that extra half an hour that means we're in a very sheltered area as it turns out i'm glad we did not cancel there were a few of you guys wanted to cancel the event this morning and it actually turned out to be quite a nice day it was a very beautiful day it's nice and sunny now and so a great way to spend your weekend out fishing we had a run out tide most of the day which actually assisted the anglers to make their way into the front part of the system um, and it's just slowly working its way back in so there wasn't too much resistance for the anglers to to get in through here. This weekend we have Jim Barry on scoring as I said earlier we've got uh, Bob back at Hubby Media he'll be taking photographs of the fish being released, Caldwell on the bump tubs and Chris Purnell on scoring. If we get the thumbs up from scoring it's all good and the uh, stream seems to be holding up fantastic we'll bring up Jason Reed from New South Wales. I'd expect Jason to do very well well here. He's does local guy, lots of fishing. He's got three fish. He only needs 1.44 to take the lead. How are you, sir? Turn the mic on. Not too bad. Big day on the water? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Did it turn out nice or what? Yeah, it did. It did. Good. I am uh I got a bit nervous about 2.30 this morning when it's still gale force winds. It puts a lot of pressure on the directors to make the right call. And it's easy to say, go on the forecast and cancel it, and we didn't. Nah, so good call. It was the right decision. Nah, was we got one right this whole year, 1.36 kilos. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Perfect. We put a lot of time and effort trying to make these things work for everybody. Chris Miller from South Australia made the journey. Yo, this is your boy, Chris. Is that how it is? I can't do it. You, you'll have to do it for me. I can't remember what it was. Yo, yo. There we go. All right, mate. Nice. Now, you texted me earlier this morning. You had fish by what time? I had my first spike 10 past 7. 10 past, past 7. seven. What a nice day it turned out to be. Perfect. Now, you fished this end of the system? Yep, all up river. All right. You need 1.44 to take the lead. You got that? Just. Just. He's pretty confident with that just. New leader, put your hands together early on. 1.88 kilos. Come on, South Australia. <laughs> You've got two fan Thank club you. members. 
Yeah, Costa Lovers. Costa Lovers. <laughs> Jeff Alford next in scoring and show on me three. Needs 1.89 kilos. Being we're only in the third round, we don't have angle of the year total so far. How are you, sir? Good, thanks. Not a bad day on the water. Not too bad. <laughs> that was all right. Yeah, a bit damp at the start. A bit humid this morning. Yeah. Very humid. All right, three fish going to come in at 1.35 wow. kilos. Fantastic. It's there a surprise. You there you go. Is that good or bad? Good. Oh, well, he's happy. Chris uh, Miller is in lead from South Australia at 1.88. Chris Purnell, the winner from last year with a nice bag, is in second. Trent Rogers from New South Wales is in the bump tub next. That's it. Leave all the water in the tub. Makes our life a little bit easier on day number two. How are you, sir? Yeah, good. You have fun? Yeah, it was a good day. It was a good day. That's Well, I know why you're saying it was a good day. <laughs> yeah. If you brought up one fish, was it still a good day? Yeah. You need 1.89. You've got that, you reckon? Hopefully. Hopefully. All right. Do we have a new leader on round three, the Crank Allures round? We certainly do. 2.10. Come on. A few more fans <laughs> there. That's all right. You must have bought him a Thank beer you. earlier. Well done. New leaders, Trent Rogers. Mark Young, always smiling, always happy. <laughs> Not today. Oh, three fish is all you needed? Yep. You got three. It's a bit light. Now, where did you fish today? Uh, down the marina, some boat holes, all over the shop. Same plan for tomorrow? No. No. What are you going to do tomorrow? Don't know yet. You don't know yet. You'll wake up and go. All right. Three small fish. Not bad. You need three on day one to be in it. Thank you. Average is 530 grams on average here at this arena. So those three fish are important. Tyson Hayes is next. Made the journey from Queensland. We saw him uh, near one of the bridges. We won't say which one. There's three. And uh, that was your third fish, or was that an upgrade? Uh, that was my second fish. That second you fish. Catch. You've done a bit better. Yeah, I got a few upgrades on the way back. I think it was about 10.30 when the you bigger You reckon? Fish. Yep. All right. You're chasing 2.11. Let's have a look. Three fish. Easily going to do that. 2.32. Make some noise. To be the journey from Queensland. Where would you fish, and what would you catch them on? I'm not going to tell you that. I didn't think you would. But I have to always ask on day one. Here we go. Queensland first, New South Wales second, and SA ran out the top three. Jason Meach, just up the road, as they say. Three fish. Needs 2.33 kilos to take the lead. No, no. That was not, not a chance. No, but that's still... That's all right. That's still okay. Fish, yeah. This still is okay. Done. It turned out to be an okay day. It was great. Oh, it was really <laughs> nice, actually. I was a bit sh shocked that it came out so nice. Anyway, it's right cool. It did 1.36. Well done. Thank you. He's hanging in there. I'm going to need about at least 1.3 to 1.7 to be in that range for tomorrow. And he has achieved that, which is good. Three fish are important. Glenn Morgan, New South Wales next. How many fish you got there? Three fish. That's okay. Okay, let's have a look. Where are we going to come? 1.20, not too shabby for day one result. Luke K is next on stage. Luke and Jason gave a talk last night. How are you, sir? Very well, Steve. Now, where did you have this little speech at last night? Where was it at? What was retailer? Uh, Adamfishing.com.au in Miranda. All right. Yeah, he there. got second place last year. He did. He had a really good bag. He had a days. good, good one. This is not a bad bag. Yeah, I think it's okay. Did I dare ask what you're throwing today? Yeah, you can. Okay. Uh, through, uh, the biggest fish came on a D36 in violet shrimp, Pro Lua. Um, the other two came on live yabbies in uh, pearl green. Yep. How do you keep those yabbies alive? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> just, just thought I'd throw that in there. You need that 2.58. Put your hands together. Come on, you guys. Should I weigh a fish? Maybe. Big fish? Yeah. Of course we can. Oh, so we have the Atomic Big Brim, this allure distributed by Frogley's Offshore. It's $100 over the weekend for the biggest brim. This will get you on the runs for day number one. Nice fish. You got the right one? I hope so. You hope so. You can always weigh the second one. There's the first fish. Do we have a kegger? No, 0.88. You want to do the other one? We'll do it. 
you grab the fish, work cover. Yeah, exactly. Um, don't know. I reckon you made the right call earlier. Let's have a look. Big brim number two fish, Jimbo. Does he have it? 0.88. Well, there you go. What do you do? What do you do? Exactly. Guess what? You're in the lead for a hundred dollar big brim from Atomic Lures, distributed by Frogley's Offshore. Jonathan Chin, we saw him early on today with three fish. He had a little bit of a tale of woes early on. You got here nice and early, the boat was in the water, you got your registration key tag early, but what happened there? I didn't have my batteries, so I left them at Carl's house and I had to... Is that even turned on? Yeah. Okay, it's on. Yeah, Done? so I had to um, drive 15 minutes back to Carl's and 15 minutes back, so I missed the official start, but like... It worked out for you, didn't definitely. it? Definitely. How soon did you get your bag? What time? Um, about 8. 8 o'clock? Yeah. 8.15 the bag. We won't say where. We know exactly. We saw you on film. You need 2.59. You don't have that, but you got it close. You got 2.30. Put you in the third place on day one. Well done. Thank you. That's what we want to see, these two kilo bags as a minimum on day one. Doug Baker had a great second day at Malakuta. Found the fish. Not bad for day one here, it looks like. Scoring is showing three fish. You need 2.5 non to take the lead. No. Don't have that, but that's still a good day one bag. Yeah. Did you catch fish all day? Yeah, I did, yeah. Pretty tell you what, we saw people, everyone catching fish. They all seem to be about that same size. A lot of small ones in there. 1.60 kilos, not too awesome. bad. Puts right. you Thanks into sixth much. place. That's really good. As some of the angler said, it was hard to get down through the little ones to get into that uh, bigger fish. Mark Thompson. One fish, it's better than none, done zero. <laughs> what a glamorous day it turned out to be, Muddy. Yeah, it is. At least by about 11 o'clock, people start drying out. Okay, one is gonna come in at 3.31. Yeah. Thanks, Muddy, uh -huh. well done. Thanks. Better luck tomorrow, yeah. change your tactics. Luke Kay is still leading, he's one of the uh, pro lure Team guys, along with Jason Meach, Craig Wallace, three fish. Hey, going, Craig. Good day in the water. Yeah, mate. Yeah, it turned out good. That's okay. It's all right for day one. Excellent. Get rid of some of the water. See if we can get you into the top ten with that bag. One point five three scrapes you into seventh place. That's pretty good for day one. Thanks, Excellent. Mike. See what happens on day two. Remember yesterday around the last year, six fish, five point zero eight kilos for first in the high fours on day two. Andrew, come on up, mate. Three fish, that's a good thing. We have options to choose a number of fish in the fisheries. This particular weekend we're saying three, not too bad. It's all right. It's all right. Bad day. Damaged my Mirage drive. That's all right. You run into rocks. That's what they're designed for. You just fix them. There you go. Three fish, 1.77 kilos. Fantastic. No phone call from your wife? Oh, hope, no, not yet. Not yet. Hopefully not tomorrow. All right. So the wife's in the hospital expecting the baby, and he goes, uh, can I weigh in early? And I'm going, well, I don't know. So just tell your wife that there are more important things. One more day of comp. Just kidding. Just kidding. Jeffrey Howe is next. Two fish. One short. How are you, sir? Not too bad. There you go, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Good day in the water? Yeah, it was fun. Cracking day. Before, so. The wind has slowly started doing what they said it was going to do. Yep. A little bit later, which I banked on. So, um, 0.77. Not too bad. Well done. Thank you. Because there's definitely the forecast was a bit of doom and gloom. Dave Hedge, three fish, yay! That's what we want. How are you, Mighty? Yeah, good sir. It's, it's okay. No, nice day out there today. It, I made the right call. Yeah. First time in ten years. Yeah, all right up and got my first fish off my first cast, so I was pretty happy with that. You always got to be there at one point three nine. That's not too bad. Thank you. You're still in there with a chance at that weight. Jeremy Thomas. It's legal. One fish. Where were his mates? 
Pardon? Where were his mates? Would not have a clue. You gonna do something different tomorrow? No. You're gonna catch three though, aren't you? Yes. Oh, I just to make sure. There, I've dropped, I dropped a few. Okay, one fish comes in at 0.44 kilos. Thank you, mate. Well done. What a beautiful, glamorous, sunny day. We've got Bob Finlay, Hobie Media, down on the pontoon, where the fish are underneath it. There's high sun, and they swim away, and it keeps away from the birds. Darren Haywood is next. Three fish. That's what we want to see. How are you, sir? Yeah, good, thanks. It's all right. Nice, nice. That's a start. That's good. Yeah, That's good. good with three on day one. That's okay. You just got to get three, and you got to be one and a half kind of kilos. Close, 1.33. You're in there. You need three big ones tomorrow. Well, well done. Ben Wilson, two fish. You need two and a half kilos to take the lead. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Mic up high where he can talk. There you go. Yeah, definitely not going to happen. That's all right. You going to do something different tomorrow? Uh, yeah, probably mix it up a bit. Try okay. something a bit different. See what happens. I would. Not too bad. Just sort of a kilo, 0.97. Line is out there, so of 65 people entered, I tell you what, I reckon everyone's gotten fish. That's a good thing. Jack Kerridan? Kadarian? Sit. One, you got on stage. That's good. How are you, mate? Good. Did you have a good day in the water? Oh, it's always good on the water. It is. A bit wet this morning. Oh, no, that's okay. But look at this. Beautiful. You know, it counted up really, really nice. Tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow should be a good day for fishing. Point four zero. Bit of a change of tide by about an hour or so, and um, that'll help everybody. <laughs> I checked that bag, Carl. I would check him. It looks a bit dodgy. It should be 40 to the fork. Adam, come on down. Who gets the mic? No, no, I don't hold the mics. Work cover. How are you? Good, how are you? How are you, mate? Yeah, not bad. Now tell us what happened last night. What was going on there? Uh, we had a pro lure talk night with Jason and Luke Kay. How did it go? Good? Oh, well, Luke went good. <laughs> um, yeah, it was good. That sounds good. All the boys good. caught up, so it was really good. And what time did you stay in the shop? Oh, we went and had um, pizza at the pizza shop, so I, w I got home about nine, maybe, I That's think. not too shabby. Here we go. Second place last year, 1.58. You're still in with a chance. Thank you need you. a good bag for day number two. Thanks, Steve. Well done. Chris Hickson and also uh, Adam were the only ones to get in the four kilo range. Chris, the only one at the five. Lex Court is next in the Masters Division. Three fish. That's what you got to have on day one. How are you, sir? Very good. Yeah. You got three. Yes. You weren't that optimistic <laughs> on pre-fish day. You got oh, I'm not going to do it. I got four for the day. That was it. That's all right. Yeah. Three is all you need. Excellent. 1.29 oh, kilos. I'm happy with that. That's you, good. There you go. Excellent. Well done. <laughs> Mr. Hickson's nest. Chris Hickson. Is that a Trevelyan there or something, is there? Better in the bump tub than at the water's edge, which I've seen. How are you, mate? I'm really tired. Now, where did you go today? Uh, I started here, and I worked my way around pretty much everything until I got the tower, and then I pedaled like sting on the way back because the tide didn't change. I know it. <laughs> 2.59 is what you're chasing. Nah, I definitely haven't got that. Let's have a look. Ended up third place just last year. Got a nice fish in there. Close, 2.27. You want to weigh one for Big that? Brim? What's Big Brim? Uh, 0.88. Yeah, throw it on. I don't think it is pretty skinny. Well, I'll do this routine. I'll take that. You take that. That's how it works. 800. He's saying 800. Any money on this? No. 9.7. New leader, Big Brim. Come on. That's better. It'll, it'll get beaten. That's all right. Day one. No, no, I don't do fish. No, in a minute. Oh, uh, will it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me do a little quick little recap. Uh, Luke K 
uh, Pro Lure Staff, 2.58. Uh, Tyson Hayes at Queensland, 2.32. Jonathan Chin, ACT, is in at uh, 2.30. And Chris Hickson, who you just saw on stage at 2.27. Neville Inright is next, three fish. Please leave all the water in the bump tubs. And you come on stage, please put the mic on your chin, and everyone can hear you. Hi, how are you, mate? No, I'm good, thanks. It's okay. It's good. Yeah, just work boat, boat holes all day. Even with, uh, that's okay, because typically the boat holes really fire when it gets sunny out, but they just live in there as well, because some of these boats have been here for 20 years and haven't moved. Yeah, there's some stuff on them. There you go. Excellent. 1.61 1. kilos. Excellent. Thank you. Perfect. <coughs> Chris Hickson is the uh, leader in the Atomic Big Brim here at the Cranka round number three. Russell Morgan, New South Wales, two fish. One short, but still not bad. How are you? Yeah, good, mate. Let's see if we can cycle through it. The line is still long. I tell you what, I think there's very few people who did not get fish today. 1.16, excellent. Enjoy a day in the water? Yeah, it was a good day. It actually turned out really, really good over the uh, forecast that everyone put out. We've been following that front for a while now, and it was doing some crazy things. Anthony Steers is next, three fish. You got two point six for me? Uh, no. Okay, that's still not bad. Still not bad. Yeah, three fish is a win. Three fish is good. If you can get to that one point five, you're doing well. You've done that. One point seven three. That's the magic number, I think, to have a successful championship Sunday. Russell Barbecue needs two point five nine. We saw Russell earlier this morning fishing one of the bridges. We won't say which one. How are you, sir? Yeah, I'm all right. Um, it's fun it's day. It's okay. It yeah. came up good. Plenty of fish. They're just um, your typical shallow water fish. They're just really skinny. Yep. So they're all sort of good length fish, just not really holding any weight, which is a bit of a shame. And Russell's going to come in. Nice bag. 2.29. Puts you into fourth place. Well done, matey. Excellent. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Russell also fishes in a lot of the powerboat comps. Does a lot of work with uh, Berkeley. Malcolm Halliday, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. What do you got for me? That's okay. Three little ones. It doesn't matter. Three's good. Yeah, a lot of little ones out there today. That's what everyone saying. They're saying there are big ones there, but getting through them is another story altogether. Let's have a look here. Three fish are going to come at 1.35 kilos. Thank you. Thank you. I think that dinghy is just running over my marker over there. <laughs> Adriano Tosolini. How are you? Not, not too bad, yeah. That's okay. It's all right. That's a good bag. Not bad. Okay. Hang on there. Not too shab, crack two kilos, 2.02 to be in that. Puts you into seventh place. Thank you. Well done. <coughs> JZ, come on up, man. <laughs> I just, I've had a long day. <laughs> What a day it turned out to be, though. Yeah, hey, it wasn't as bad as we thought. Um, <laughs> something nice in there. <laughs> yibbity, yibbity, yibbity. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's. Nah, where'd you catch him on? At? And where'd you catch him on? Fishing between uh, Cogra Bay and um, <laughs> the other side there. Can't give too much information away. No, I don't yeah, blame. I you. was cranking. Cranking. Shallow cranking. Yeah. You need two point five nine. Yeah. to take the lead. Do we have a new leader? Boom. 2.90. First nice. place. Well done. Can I weigh him? You reckon? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's give it a go. No, yes. no, no, I don't hold fish. Come on, man. Look at these beautiful, delicate hands. <laughs> Sound effects. See what we got. <laughs> you only need 0.96. Hickson was probably right. What a specimen. When you're done, hold up here. There's a lot of guys in Europe watching because of the Hobie Fishing Worlds 8 in the Gold Coast. And it's going to be 1.33. Make some noise. Big brim of the day. 
It's a hundred dollars so far. Thanks. Show it up for some of the guys there because they're all going brim, water brim. They've never seen them. That is a cracking specimen there. there Jero from Hubby Cat Europe. There you go. Hubby Kikes Europe. Well, Don New Leader. Brett Crow, New South Wales, South Coast. Three fish. Brett's done a lot of rounds last year and a lot of rounds this year so far. Made all of them, I think. Yes, I have, yeah. And we'll keep it's doing good it. fun. Yeah, it is. Great fun. Yeah. It's, I'll tell you what, the. We've gone through some waves in the kayaks, but I tell you what, these last two years, and particularly this year, I think it's the best group of guys and girls that we've had ever. Yeah, I agree. It's just a very fun event to go to. 1.60. Everyone's doing it for the right reasons. That's it. Thanks very much. Thank you, Mike. We all like winning, but having a good time and going fishing is uh, what it's all about to us. Gary Hansen, he always battles with Lex and a um, battle in the Masters Division. He's got three fish. Uh, Lex has 1.29. Have you got him? Just maybe. I think you do. All right. Is this a new leader in the Masters? That's 60 to 64. One day I'll be that age. And it's going to be easy. 2.03. Going to be a big day tomorrow. I think Lex has got some mojo going. Also moved Gary into eighth place in the overall. David Aiden is next. Three fish. Good. Excellent. Not good. Oh, we got three. Yeah. Did you catch many where we saw you? Yeah, got plenty of small ones, but just couldn't find big ones. So. Uh, that's what everyone's saying. The system is that kind of way. Yeah. All right, let's have a look here. Three fish coming in at 1.41. Mm, that's nice. a good day one bag. Thanks. I always predict kind of that 1.3 to 1.5, and the closer to 1.5 on day one on a three-fish comp is always a good thing. Andrew Hancock. Open arena, so you took the right rods. Yeah. There we go. Thanks for that 100 bucks. That was good. Thank you. No just, just kidding. <laughs> three fish. You going to do something different tomorrow? Mm, probably not. Okay. There's a lot of small ones. Not bad, 1.67. You're in there with the top 10 chance tomorrow. Thanks, Mike. You need to be in that 1.5 based on the current bags. <laughs> Who we got next on the tub? We're just bringing a few people up, waiting for a few bags. Cedric, you can go straight in here if you want. Unless, have you checked his girl? Probably not. Just have a quick laser. Carl Dubois is on the bump tub, and what we do is we check all the fish. Every state has a minimum requirement. Here we're running at 26, and that is to the tip. That's state legal plus 10. So that way at all times, the oh. fish are always legal. You're right there. Yeah, something in my foot. Italian food from last night? Yeah. <laughs> all right. You got three fish. That's good. Yeah. Three fish kind of come in at 1.21 kilos. Well done, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Did you want to wear this big brim or? No. <laughs> we'll go through who, where we're at. Uh, top 10 is Chris Miller from South Australia. He flew across and borrowed a boat from the Life Aquatic in Montevale, the uh, local dealer support for this weekend. Um, Adriano uh, Tossolini in ninth place, 2.02. Gary Hansen, Victoria, 2.03. Trent Rogers, New South Wales, 2.10. Chris Hickson, second, pl uh, second place last year here. Uh, New South Wales, 2.27. Russell Babacule, just ahead at 2.29. From the ACT, breaking up the states a bit, is Jonathan Chin at 2.30. Zero kilos. Luke K, uh, 2.58. And then our new leader, Johnny Zenol from New South Wales, is leading at 2.90. And he's also leading Big Brim with a nice fish at 1.33 kilos. Second biggest fish so far weighed in is Chris Hickson at 0.96. And then uh, third was uh, Luke K at 0.88. Just waiting for a few bags. Zachary is next. New South Wales, working at uh, the Bass Angler in Penrith. Probably one of the best tackle shops out west. How are you? I'm tired, definitely. That's all right. You got <laughs> one. You got one and a late penalty, but you can still make up for it tomorrow. There are some big fish. You've just seen 1.33 kilos. 0.61. There you Thank go, you. mate. Thank you. 
if you have a chance to get out that way, if you're into a variety of things, including bass, is the Bass Angler has got some fantastic lures, great Hobie kayak displays, and unlimited rods and reels. Francis D. Martina, New South Wales, three fish. How are you, mate? Good, thanks. How are you? Good day in the water? Yeah, not too bad. Turned out good, didn't it? Yeah. Boats are swinging. I think it's going to come in later, which is a good thing. We only sacrifice a half an hour of fishing day. 1.70. Well done. How'd you go yeah. against Colin? Don't know yet. He's next up. He's next up. It's going to be close, though. It's going to be close. Ta da. <coughs> Supported by Hubby Polarized Sunglasses. He's also in the youth division, 16 to 21 years of age. Three fish. He's chasing 2.91 to take the lead. Not going to happen. And you're chasing 1.71 or better for an easy ride home with Dad. Have a look here. He's done that. 1.7. It's on for young and old tomorrow. Yeah. Where did you fish today? I went upriver. Upriver? Just fishing edges and pontoons. A, a lot of people we talked to that went upriver and fishing edges, they said there's a lot of little fish up there today. Did you find the same yeah, thing? Yeah, I caught plenty of fish, heaps of unders, bunch of fish around that like 26 to 29 mark. Yep. Yeah. Just extracting those big ones. Well done, mate. Thank you. Excellent. James Kilpatrick, Hunter Water Sports. Been supporting the series for a long time. Has a fantastic hobby shop at Belmont. And um, he's been working hard keeping people on the water today how are you sir i'm good i'm good now tell us where you located your shop at whereabouts in belmont uh we're on lake macquarie belmont okay i'm um, just on the pacific highway so yeah what's your winter hours now uh 9 30 to 5 monday to friday okay. and <laughs> 9 30 to 3 today saturday but when did you work? yeah we <laughs> when did he work all right two fish 0 0.80 well done thank you I'll tell you, James has done really well. It's keeping the guys on the water, not only with the local dealers, all these dealers all pitch in to make sure you guys are on the water. Byron Hill is next. We did um, three fish. We did some um, testing with our new camcorders and some mics today. 3.5 out of 5. I think we're doing well. That's okay. Did you catch any more fish today? Yeah, got lots of fish, but uh, just lost every battle that I had with the decent-sized fish, unfortunately. But uh, leader class or just there's gnarly structure, and you're going to get them yeah, out. Yeah, it didn't. It wouldn't have mattered. There you um, go. I was light though. I was three pound, but okay. it wouldn't have mattered. You need to. There we go. Three fish at one point two seven. You need some work for tomorrow. Yeah. Same strategy for tomorrow. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'll work it out and debrief tonight. And sounds good. Yeah. Well done, matey. Thank you. He's a power pole and hubby polarized sunglass ambassador for us, and we've been uh, doing a lot of testing for some electronics in preparation for Hobby Fishing Worlds 8, which is going to be up on the Gold Coast in July. Blake uh, Partington, if I have that right. Correct. Three fish, first timer. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Good day. Your first comp with us. Correct. What do you reckon? Love it. It's good fun, it's isn't fun it? As. Uh, there's a lot of good guys here that uh, really just don't take life too seriously. They, they yeah. just go fishing and have fun and pass information. Other than the rain this morning, it was not too bad. Oh, beautiful day. Beautiful day. Can't go wrong. Yeah, it's a bit bit humid this morning. One point four four, not bad for yeah, day cool. one. Put you in the twenty first place. Excellent. Love to see these first timers again. You can have any brand of kayak. It doesn't have to be a hubby. It just has to have a live well meets our regulations, and you two can come down, no entry fee, and find out what all the fun is about. From the ACT is Paul Hardiman, two fish. How are you, mate? Oh, not bad, thanks, Steve. It's all right. I was obviously fishing in the nursery, though. Yeah, uh, a lot of people were. I've been seeing a lot of fish, and they're all that same size, which is typical kind of this time of year. It's going to come in at 0.74. You need to do a little bit better tomorrow, but I'm sure you're going to get three that three. Three kilo bag will be good. Three kilos. Three casts, three fish. How hard can it be? The line is still there. Sam Forsythe, if I got that correct? Yeah, it's good enough. Close enough. One fish, first timer. Yeah. Well done, mate. You're on stage. No donuts. How are you going? Thank you, mate. Yeah, good. Good to catch a fish on my first tournament, which is good. And uh, what are you reckon your first tournament? Was good fun? Yeah, it was good, mate. Weather was a bit average this morning, but uh, yeah, you it reckon? up. Yeah. <laughs> Dried off. I'm dry. So. <laughs> no, it was good. But uh, good group of guys. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's, a it's a lot of experience. 
There is, and they're, um, they really pass it on and help out a lot. And that's kind of what this last two years of this Hobie round is. 0.45. You going to come back and join us again? 100%. Yeah. 100%. 100%. I tell you what, I think we do have about a 100% success race for the guys who come and see what it is. Don't get caught up in the word tournament. And just to come and enjoy your afternoons here fishing. I think it's good. Danny Jobson, he was easy to find all day today. You could see him from outer space. The shuttle called me and said, there's Danny. <laughs> he Over by the bridge again. <laughs> How are you, mate? He didn't come and say hello, though. I'm good. Uh, we were under a lot of pressure to do a lot of testing today. which yeah, yeah. And um, we've got that kind of worked out. Whoa, it's doing an upgrade. Three fish, not too bad. 1.62. You going to do the same thing tomorrow? Yep. Same well. place? Yep. We'll come see you tomorrow. Okay, cool. Well done, mate. <laughs> Thank you. Good bag. The bag weights are coming back up. <coughs> Gordon at Gaming, you're on stage. <laughs> Quick, Mick. <laughs> My arm is tingling. Yeah, no, this is a rare event. Oh, right. Look, swave there. This is your club, f your fan. I'll days. be here tomorrow. You'll be here tomorrow, and not a bad fish. Yeah, I lost three big ones in that. That's all right. He's on stage. I'm excited. Well done. Thank you. You've got it now. You've yeah. broken it. Yeah. The water's broken. All right. <laughs> Glenn Allen next. You're gonna need 2.91, matey. Scoring is showing me three. How are you? Not good. Not bad. Yeah. Edges today? Yeah, edges. A uh, bit of everything, actually. Okay. This is going to get you in the top five. Yeah. What do you reckon it weighs? Uh, Two-ish. Two, no Two-ish, he says. <laughs> yeah, right. Hoping. Come on. Easy. 2.05. Eighth place. Put you Thank in you. that top ten. Fantastic. Well done. Mitchell Madison is next. Lots of water. How are you, sir? Good, good. Good day in the water? Yeah, it was fun. Interesting. Donating. And there's Mr. Josh Carpenter. How are you? Good. There you go. Well done. All right, Mitch. Sorry, just haven't seen him in <laughs> donkey's years. Three fish come in at 1.55. I'll take it. You like that? I like it. Better Same strategy it. as yesterday? Oh, uh, well, I didn't pre-fish yesterday, so oh, gotcha. that was just a... And battle. tomorrow then, you reckon? Uh, no, I'll go find some new water. Hopefully my sand will... New water. Today. Perfect. Thank well you. done. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Jack Gammy, Mr. Snickers himself. Very calm today. Soothing and calm. How are you? Very good, thanks, Steve. That's okay. Yeah, That's it's good. not too bad. That's good. You needed that for uh, day number one. Yes. Because you're you're now in touch with the leaders. That's it. Easy. One point eight nine. You fished where today, roughly? Uh, down the front. Out the front. Out the I front. won't go any further than that. Nope. I'll leave you do it. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. He's gonna lose his tag soon of Snickers. He keeps this up. <laughs> Kane Terry, he keeps the uh, mechanical department very busy here, <laughs> and Jim's going to mail you a maintenance manual. Awesome. All right, just shows you that once a year you periodically do something. <laughs> you got three, that's good. Yeah. You stay up and fish where I saw you this morning? No, I went in. To went the in? Yep. Did the front up there fire at all? Oh, I only fished a couple of boats. A couple of boats. Then went in. Yeah. Three fish. 1.28 kilos. Well done. Thanks, buddy. Brendan Pichel is next. Three fish. I see some nice fish there. Whoa. It's doing all these weird things on my screen. I'll roll this back up. Let's do this. You need two nine, you don't, but I tell you what, this will keep you in contention for tomorrow in that top ten where the checks are at. Not bad at all. Happy two point one two seventh place. Okay. Excellent. That's what we want to see. I knew you could do it. <coughs> and we got a handful of bags left. Tell you what, there's been a lot of people weighing in fish today. 
The guy's consistently always late for registration, Mr. Simon Morley. How are you, sir? Yeah, good, thanks, Steve. How are you? That's okay. You're in contention still. Nah, tiny. No, no from weight-wise, there's not a lot in it all the way down. I mean, there's two kilos at 11th place, but after that, it's pretty good. So in that top 10 is where the checks are. Yeah. 1.60 puts you into 23rd. It's better. It's good. Oh, thank you. It's Dom. It's good. It's Dom. It's good. Who we got next? Hilly. How many fish? Five fish. Oh, that's a little way. Sorry. That's the penalty. Heart attack. Three fish, but it was a small penalty. It was pretty quick. You made up well. How are you, mate? Oh, yeah. That's okay. Tight. That's okay. You made it back. Oh, just. You got no, your fish? Not just, but like. It's okay. It's all good. You're on stage. That's what's important. 1.34 kilos. Well done, matey. Thank you. Not bad bag. Wearing the Australian Nationals uh, Championship jersey. Designed off a Hobie surfboard because it was our 50th year in the Hobie sailboat age and our 10th year last year, so a bit of a celebration. Guy Struthers made the journey down from Queensland. Three fish today. Needs 2.91. That's not going to happen. He's shaking his head. How are you, sir? Yeah, I'm pretty good. That's still okay. Yeah, that's it not been, bad. Would have been better if uh, one of the big ones got, didn't come off, but uh, oh well, that's fishing. Do you roll stuff on the shores or you fish deep today? Uh, I did a bit of everything today, but okay. um, yeah, it's something out of ordinary for me, fishing eight pound liters and still getting shredded on it. Ooh, okay, that's unusual. There we go. This will help you for sure. Not bad. 2.03, just outside the top 10, 11th place. It's going to be good for you tomorrow. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. We got a lot of support from all the states, and these guys make the hard efforts of getting here. Zeter, Zeter, one fish. Yep. It's all right. On stage. I know you'll do something different tomorrow. Hopefully. Look how good this weather has turned out this afternoon. Yeah, it's lovely this, today. It is fantastic. Yeah. Start was a bit ordinary, but we got through it. Yep. And by about 8:30, I think it kind of stopped raining. Yeah, there was light sprinkles here and there, but, but it, it was the most pleasant. Part it was done, yeah. It wasn't cold. That was good. Not bad. 5:30, which was the average size fish average, caught yeah. last year yeah. of all the fish here. Thank you. Fantastic. <coughs> Paul Dunlop, New South Wales, two fish today. Paul's a very consistent angler. Been fishing our series for a while. It's good to see Paul on stage again. I know you'll get three tomorrow. Good afternoon. Yep. You'll get three? It's oh, easy. I hope so. No, you will. Slow rolls and big pauses. There we go. Not too bad. Nine, six. Yeah, almost a you. kegger, Thanks. which would have been the average for the fish here last year. Are there any other bags you think, Carl, or are we pretty much there? Mr. Dubois. We're all finished except for Andrew. He just gave you the finger. Was that the number of fish? Something about victory? Two fish. Do you nearly... When you drop the fish, go get it. I didn't hear that. I hope they didn't either. How are you? I don't think they heard that. Two. Where's the third? He died. Hey? Died. Uh, I don't want to talk about that. So, <laughs> tomorrow, you, you going to do anything different? Probably not. No, you say he went to sleep. He did go to sleep. He went to sleep. And got hard. <laughs> he went to sleep. Kids are watching. He went to sleep. He's all right, okay? 1.11. Not too bad for two. You better get three tomorrow. Thank you. That fish is going to wake up soon, so it's all good. Where do you think we're at, ladies and gentlemen? Is the hammer going down? It looks like it. It's all called in. Fantastic. It'll be interesting to see the results tomorrow. 2.90, I'll butcher his name, I'm sure, is Johnny Zenol. Uh, second place, 2.58 kilos is Luke K. Third place, uh, Tyson Haynes, Queensland, uh, 2.33. From the ACT, made the journey up, Jonathan Chin at 2.3 kilos. And running at the top five is Russell Babicule at 2.8. 
two nine kilos. Uh, leading in the Grand Masters, um, uh, sorry, in the Masters is Gary Hansen uh, with a two point oh three, and just ahead of Lex Court altogether. Youth division is Cullen D. Matina. Many thanks to all the anglers who made the journey down, and also for keeping the noise and the lights down. I'm pretty confident we can extend our permit for tomorrow, or for next year, and. Uh, open this series up. Many thanks to uh, Carl Dubois, to Bob Finlay on media, Chris Purnell, and once again, Jim Berry, who's always helping us. And we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Don't forget, we're going to get away at first safe light or just before 7 o'clock. I think it was 10 minutes to 7 a day. We'll do a live stream, and I think the conditions are going to be ideal for filming anyway. And then the weigh-in will be announced later on. It should be 2 o'clock tomorrow. And with that, you can follow some of the photos tonight at hobiefishing.com.au and also on the Facebook page. And with that, we wish you a good afternoon. Let's do it again.